a scion of many worlds. Do you think the returning shadow is interrupted by a black hole manifesting directly in her lower jaw? The problem with projecting yourself as a bigger entity is that you're also a bigger target. She reforms. That I... This time, the interruption is a railgun round lodging into the back of her head. Will... Will you shut up already? I'm with my mother, you idiot. Jasper snaps at the reforming spirit of the shadow. On to the afterlife. You have no more hostages to hide behind, no more leverage, and if you push even a micrometer further, I will find out if it's possible to rip a soul into pieces. The shadow pauses, openly considers, moves, reconsiders, thinks visibly, and is then blasted by a plasma bombardment courtesy of a descending suit of power armor. Jasper can feel the spirit retreat a step too far and be pulled by the tides beyond. She's properly dead now and is not coming back. Then she actually tries and Jasper pushes at her spiritual self, but not to the great distance she pushed him. He can see the place where her soul most belongs. It is a dark place, a terrible place, a place of shadows and fear. A place that can only be escaped from when you understand and accept that such a thing is as terrible for another as it is for oneself. A chain that can only be broken by empathy. She's going to be there for a very long time. What did you do? Morgana asks him. There are places where souls go to sleep. Some are realms of joy, others of nightmares. Her barbarism and cruelty meant she was only fit for a realm of darkness and despair, and there she will lay until such time as she becomes something else, something more fitting of life than merely corrupting it, Jasper explains. If you're going to sound pretentious, try adding some more ye olden into it, Horace teases as he lands. By the way, did we ever get that woman's name? No, no we did not, and she killed everyone that would have known it. Jasper replies as Horace walks up, his helmet retracting to let the sunlight of Lacrin start adding to his impressive natural tan. Cornrows and braids, how could you? Coming from the man with six antennae and a mane of fur that makes a canadores look puny? Horace asks with a huge smile as he holds up a fist and Jasper pounds it. It's good to see you at last. I'm glad my memory saw this all through. Huge help, but I've got a massive craving for a proper mixed drink, Jasper replies. Horace takes a step to the side and smiles down at Morgana. Well, Doctor, I may not have consented to my part in this experiment, but I dare say it was a hell of a success. The dead returned to life, an entire planet in the process of being rescued, and an entire branch of physics unveiled for the galaxy at large to just barely scratch the surface. How does it feel? I... Morgana was not quite prepared for Horace to ask about things in this way when confronting her. She was prepared to weather shouting, deflect accusations and blame and counter all sorts of swears. Not a rational question of how does it feel. When I fully internalize that I have my little boy back, at three times his previous height and well over 27 times his previous mass, I'll have an answer for you, Morgana says, and Horace just snorts in amusement. So are we going to do something to break them apart, or... Charizard asks, walking up with him, holstering his caster gun. Also may I say that it's nothing short of insane that multiple black holes directly on the target was at most an inconvenience? No, that was pretty nuts, Gears says comfortably. I can knock legions of shuttles out of the sky with this and it would barely have pissed that woman off. I'm holding more hardware than some planetary armies have combined and I still feel like I need a bigger gun. Hit the gym then, work on your guns. Horace jokes and gets a smack on the armored arm that sounds like someone dropped one anvil on another. Uh... A voice says, and they all turn to see a relatively tiny fire aramenta with a pair of glasses looking up at them. Are you... are you here to help us? We are. We would have been here sooner, but the location of this world was lost for a long time. 
As soon as we got the coordinates, we came running. Horus answers. And is one of you Horus, the brother of Lord Blue? That's me, Horus responds. You look nothing like him. You're some kind of Erementa, and he's an Earthani. You're one of the slipways, right? Horus asks, and she nods. Isabella, he... I was barely able to see before. He gave me these and taught me how to make more for my whole family. I was just doing my job, and he... He gave me the beauty of the world as payment. Well, Jasper and I share no blood, but a copy of my mind was placed into him while he was empty of all things, just a living puppet. When he awoke, he thought he was me, so we agreed that we wouldn't be enemies but brothers, siblings. No blood connects us, but we chose to be family rather than enemies. Family? You don't race across the galaxy and drag an army with you to rescue a nobody. I see. What will happen to us? Well, we teleported far ahead of the relief fleets. There's still a day or two until they're here, but we have... Oh, what's happening now? Horus begins before a commotion starts. He turns to see a series of Nagasha flying through the air. Right at the front is a primal Nagasha, gigantic compared to her peers and swooping in fast and hard. She lands and slithers up to Jasper and Morgana who have been speaking quietly and catching up. The serpent empress pauses and stares in confusion mixed with awe. You... you have the... but you're not... Iserazan says, slithering around Jasper before pausing and looking stunned at Horus, Charizard, and Gear. Is there an actual question, or are you just going to exclaim things in surprise? Horus asks, in an amused tone, and Charizard snorts in amusement. There are sparks that emerge when he does that. Is rescue here? Two days at most. We teleported ahead to help with the fight. I heard screams, but I am no warrior, so I prepared to receive the wounded, Iserazan says, slithering around them in awe. These, these suits are vaguely familiar. I've seen things like this before, but it's been so long. Power armor has a few basics that are always in place, but they change pretty much everything else at a whim. The huge amount of power they use is part of it. I see. I felt an entire city die. What happened there? Using hostages against someone that feeds off death was a bad idea. That's what happened. Slavers or not, there's nearly a million people dead due to my stupidity. Jasper says somewhat grimly. And that leads to what happened to you. How? Did you? I mean, you feel like... like Mother did. Before she passed, she was like me. Ageless, powerful, and different from others. What did you do? How are you so different now? Can others be taught this? Can I empower my daughters like this? Can... I mean... Oh, I should probably stop asking questions and let you answer some. That would be nice, yes, Jasper says as his mother finally lets go and takes a few steps back. As for what happened, well, there is a poorly understood otherness, a direction hard to even perceive, much less move in. The shadow was skilled in it, but had limits. She forced me past those limits into a place beyond everything. Nothing and everything was there, and in the nothingness there was. Enlightenment, I suppose. I could not escape as I was, so I had to remake myself as more. But the remaking was instant and always. I defined and resolved myself to be more and in that place, that moment I found that resolve, I was more. You, oh, where you were was, I know that place. Yes, I mean, wait, when did I? Was I even, when? Iserazan holds her chin in confusion. You never did and never will, but already have, will and are doing so now. It's, it's completely divorced of all understanding that I have of the galaxy, but at the same time. I'm still there. I never arrived, yet never left. There is far too little alcohol in you to be having a conversation like this. Horace chides him, and Jasper chuckles. Speaking of, when the ship gets here, think we can have a bowl or two of the good stuff? 
I'll even bring you in when I'm making new ones. Need to see how well the booze works on the 15-foot bug demographic. Not before I get a full and complete medical scan of you to make sure it won't just kill you outright. This drone is telling me your physiology is obscenely robust, but clear information will require actual specialized equipment purpose built for medical scanning. Morgana says quickly, Our ship has an extra-large medical bay to accommodate our extreme sizes and some pretty cutting-edge tech in order to make sure we didn't somehow invert our digestive tracts or something else stupid when we were enhancing ourselves for Titan Squad. He's getting that scan no matter what, trust me, Horace promises. In the meantime, though, the implications of a new primal race are pretty big. I know. Now the question is, have I done something that must originate from me, or will Urthani the galaxy overstart showing multiple divergent traits of different species? Jasper asks as he considers. Including the standard Urthani, there were a total of six variants that showed up as I tried to get control of that area. Seven if you include my hybrid nature. The antenna, the wings, the claws, the robust physiology, and the proboscis all signify differing species of Urthani. Proboscis? The hell happened to your tongue? Gear asks, and Jasper turns before sticking his proboscis out at him, and out at him, and out at him, and it stops just inches from his face. It's a large, segmented spearhead now, and slowly flares out to reveal numerous barbs and needles, perfect for impaling into a target, embedding itself in the flesh, then draining it of its vital fluids. Well, you can just sing me to sleep tonight. You guys are at least four meters apart. Charizard notes taking a step away as Jasper retracts the damn nightmare spear into his mouth. I've got another meter of rope if I want to get someone, Jasper says gleefully. Gear Zuddly activates kinetic shielding on his suit. That won't even slow me down. The man's scary already. Are we sure we want him in power armor? Gear asks in a slightly pained tone. Well, considering he's all but rescued a planet on his own without proper equipment, Imagine what he can do with some effective kit, Horace says with a smile. How about we put a pin in that until we have Lacrin good and proper rescued? We have a serious destabilizing force taken care of, and we still have more work to do. Jasper replies and Horace nods. Right, the capital of an empire has been wiped off the map. Even without the absolute mountain of madness that poured down on top of that, it's going to take some work to get things stable in this area. Slave revolts will result in countless deaths. Infrastructure is bound to be torn apart and there's going to be a huge rush of anarchy. Which means that this conquering army needs to get moving and start hitting the other cities. Of which there are four before they burn themselves down and people are uselessly slaughtered in the excitement. Game, Gear says, holding up his hand. I'm in. Well... Now I can't refuse without looking like wimp, can I? Charizard answers. Of course I'm not backing out now. Let's save some lives, Horace answers. Always rushing in to solve the problem. You do know this is something that will solve itself if left alone, right? Morgana asks. Yes, doing nothing is an answer, but not one I'll accept. If we don't clean sweep this empire, it's going to cause hundreds of thousands of more deaths. If it was the shadow that ensured the victory of this empire, then at most the cities are just well-fortified citadels. They can have their walls torn out, bypassed, or simply pinned in place with a siege easily enough, especially if there's only a day or two until the rescue has arrived, Iserazan remarks and Morgana suddenly snaps her fingers. I have a relative of yours on my ship. I was wondering why I was seeing so many familiar-looking faces in the Nagasha. But Baccalaureate Arlene Maincoil is of the White Flow family. You have a lot of relatives, young lady. They're almost an entire demographic, Morgana says. You do? Yes, and Arlene has the more traditional family look. Your line has slightly higher odds of albinism than most Nagasha, hence the family name of White Flow. I have family coming? They're part of the rescue? Yes, 
Morgana replies simply. 